Riley Sorolla coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Seven Dows, and I'm gonna be showcasing a place called Chicken Sours right here on Earlham Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. Sours. A little birdie told me that this place is a heavyweight when it comes to chicken, fried chicken like that. I'm here, already ordered my drink, Pisco Punch, which is Pisco, Sherbet, Apple and Citrus. Woo! That's strong, strong, sweet, a little bit sour. The alcohol content is there. Trying to decide what to eat. I haven't a clue, guys. I haven't a clue. We've got a lot going on. Starters like nachos, popcorn chicken. Doing it a little bit like KFC. Drumsticks, pies, salad. So, the orders are in. I've gone for the guest fry, drumstick and fry. It's that time to go to the little boy's room and show you exactly what state it's in. Let's go. This is the front. Going for that rusty look. Old school radio player. Lockers. Massive basin. Mirrors. We've got two cubicles. Head right in here. It's it's different, it's clean and fresh, but with that rusty look. Yeah, I can't knock this place. It's fresh, it's clean, it's in a good standing. It's it's quite spacious in here as well. Yeah, I've got nothing negative to say about the bathroom. It's really good. It's that time to go back to the dining space and feast because I'm really hungry. So, starters have arrived. Smelling really good. That's really good. My only criticism, it could be a bit more warm. Provided us with some huggy, baby wipes. Because things are going to get a bit messy here, especially with these wings. Super crumbly. Very, very crumbly, and it's cooked all the way through. The sauce is so pink, it's sad. It's almost like a sweet, a very a sweet barbecue sauce. Blown away. That was beautiful. Probably, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think that's the best hot wings I've yeah, best hot wings I've had. I think so. I think so. Because I'm 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 searching hard to think of better hot wings and nothing really comes to mind, so I'm gonna go with chicken sours. Best hot wings. Yeah. This place is solid guys, I um, can't really fault it. I'm so tempted to actually put the knife and fork down and just, just use my hands. It's that good, it's that good. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating using a knife and fork to eat fried chicken, you know? But this place is so worth it. So, so worth it. Chicken sours, beautiful, beautiful. As you saw, I drew for the Compound Disco Wings, which were a perfect, perfect choice 
for sharing. They were super, super flavoursome and it had that nice flaky crumb action going on. I also ordered, as a main, the guest fry drum stick and fry, which was all right. I probably wouldn't order that again. I didn't like the whole, you know, it had bean sprouts and some kind of cheese and everything going on. It was a bit, it was a bit weird for me, but it was all right. The nachos, they were on point. The only thing that was wrong with them was that they could have been served a little bit warmer, but overall, a great experience. So I'm going to give taste a four and a half out of five. Staff were polite, friendly, and quite attentive. They were very happy to explain the menu to us, which was very, very helpful. It wasn't first class, but I wouldn't expect something like that from a casual dining space. And what really stood out to me was the fact that they provided us with baby wipes without us even asking, and that was well needed for the sticky action. So on that basis, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. This was a clean restaurant. From the dining space, to the kitchen, to the toilets, there were no issues at all. So on that basis, I'm gonna give this a five out of five. I think what really stood out in this place was the jams they were playing. They took it back to the 90s and the early noughties, playing all those bangers that gave me a little trip of nostalgia. It was terrific. And the space itself is of a sensible size. And what else, what else can I say about the, the space? It was just, it was sensible. The seating arrangements were sensible. It wasn't cramped in there. So on that basis, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. The bill came to 91 pounds, which in my humble opinion is quite expensive for an establishment that prides itself in gourmet chicken, gourmet fried chicken and uh, and drinks. I think it's, it's really expensive. And specifically the drinks, because the drinks were at seven pounds a pop and actually were nearly half the price of the total bill itself. So if you're coming to this space, you might want to take it a little bit easy with the drinks. Overall, I'll give this place a two and a half for value because I don't think it's that great. But overall, I'll still give this place a hit because they serve delicious cocktails and amazing fried chicken. Just be mindful that this place is not wallet friendly. So that's the end of my review. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and please share the video. And if you haven't already, stop being a stranger and subscribe to my channel. It really does help. So make sure you check out my other videos right there. I make videos every single week. So till next time, peace. Wow.